I saw Gary on Sunday. He goes, oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I go, what happened? The baby woke up at 6. His wife made him get up and be with the baby while she while slept. While she slept. Oh. I said, dude, you are an a-hole. I said, you got to start talking to your wife. This guy... This guy gets up for a living every day. Never wakes up without an alarm clock. What is what is going on with you? And he can't talk to his wife about it. Of she yells not. at him. She didn't yell at me. I'm so glad she you're in said, hell. She just said, she, no, no, my wife said, you want the 6 o'clock feeding or do you want to get him when he wakes up? So I was and, you drunk. Said, and you should have said, I don't I, want either. I was drunk, so I said, I'll, I'll get him when he wakes up. But I should have taken a 6 o'clock feeding because it's 10 minutes long. <laughs> then you go back to sleep. Instead, I was up at 8 o'clock. Why are you taking any feeding? Do you know I never fed my kids once? Uh, you never... Ever. Crystal, is your wife breastfeeding? Yeah, so well, partially. So why, then why are you feeding? Oh, bull, no, no, she's, uh, you know, she's breastfeeding, and we're also giving a bottle. Don't her breasts hurt? Ooh. Sometimes, yeah. Does she have to relieve her breasts? We're, we're weaning. How oh, are she's you? trying to cut back. <laughs> we're cutting okay. back. <laughs> you know, I never once got up and fed the kids. Never. Never. Where did, never. Zero. Where did Even when we didn't have help. I don't believe you never did it. You never I'm t call my wife. I'm you, telling you. you never if I did it, ever? Only, I only did it like once or twice to see what it felt like. And then, and then the knot like, wears off. It's boring. You stay in and bed. you say to your wife, you, you stay in bed and you say to your wife, you know what, honey? I get up every day. Your job is to take care of the kid. You're not working right now. Your job, you're working. You're working with the kid. I what get up early. What is going to happen when Gary's wife goes back to work? Gary's wife will become even more of a help. Oh. <laughs> you, you seriously? I saw the way you were with your wife. I met baby Jackson for the first time. Oh, yesterday. did you? Oh, yeah. And how is he with the wife? Oh, his wife got him trained. He, he's jumping through wow. hoops. He's I jumping through hoops. Figured. She comes out. So Gary's now got a family man's Jeep, you know. Oh, yes, he got and the, the new Jeep car. is loaded with the baby yeah. seat and all the crap in the back, right? So yeah. the wife comes out and she says to him, Hey! <laughs> She's snapping at him. Hey, listen to this. She goes, she goes like this. Hey! I Love thought you were supposed to be the man. This is a man's jeep and load the car up with all this stuff. Guess who ended up having to load it? Oh. Now, personally, I would have taken her like this. I said, I'm going to tell you something. You see, it's Sunday. This is my one day off. I have to work today with Howard. I'm going to tell you something. I busted my balls right in front of everyone. I would have dressed her down. I would have said, listen, <laughs> you had to lift three things and stick them in the car, and you're going to sit here and bust my balls? Get the hell in the car. Go home. Already, get, already. get yourself home. I would have. <laughs> you're looking in the car, and you see Gary stripped of all his man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and then Gary, that's and then she that's stands that's there. I was stripped before I got the car. And then Gary's like asking permission. He goes, uh, uh, why don't you hold oh. the baby and I'll hold the bags oh. so I can go, you know, get the car set up. Please. Then the wife comes and she stands there. God love your wife. She's got you trained like a puppy dog. She's standing there holding baby Jackson. And baby Jackson's no lightweight. Oh. No, he's no, a big boy. He's a big boy. Yeah. Beautiful boy. And she's holding him. And she's sitting by the car, she's standing by the car seat. I see what's going on right away. I size her up in two seconds. Baba Booey's in a coma. Mm. Oh, I could tell this right away. He's, stand, he's standing there, and she's going to hold the baby until Baba Booey comes over and sticks the kid in the baby seat. She's not moving. She don't move. <laughs> and I'm watching this battle. I see the battle going right, on. There's a power play. Here. There was a battle going. Did I catch this? Absolutely. All right. Now Absolutely. no one knows what's going on. I'm watching. I'm watching to see Baba Booey right. and what happens. And he's back there. He's talking to me. He's avoiding, avoiding, avoiding. He don't want to put the kid in the car seat because I know putting the kid in the car seat could take hours. It's, it's a not that, you know it, it wrenches your back. You got to wrench your back. back. <laughs> it's, it's a real pain in the ass. And my wife's whole rap is that since she wrenches her back all week, can I wrench mine on a weekend? Yeah. Well, oh. let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And she's standing there and just standing there and standing there. She has nothing to do. Going to stand there. And finally, Baba done. Booey gets over and puts the kid in the car. He so doesn't look at her and say, what is wrong with no, you? Get no. the kid in the car. He goes so, over and does his Let me tell you something about Baba Booey. <laughs> Baba Booey gets no sleep now. Baba Booey has no life. And yeah. I love it. <laughs> Baba Booey used to have the perfect life. I used to say it to him. I warned him 900 times. I said, you have got some deal going. You get to have sex with all the girls on this show. You're living in Manhattan. You're living in Manhattan. Have a great apartment. Yeah. I said, you love with Mary now, I said, you'll get over it. And you know what? She'll hang in there and just be your girlfriend for a while, and you could cheat on her. It used to be, yeah. should I go to the screening of Planet Hollywood, the Nick game, or just go and hang out in Central Park in Sheep's Meadow and look at the women in their bikinis? <laughs> or go bike riding <laughs> or do whatever you want. Right, Gary yeah. can't go bike riding now because his wife bop, 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 bop. has decided How that... How many ooh, nights if, a week did he go out? I mean, we used to scream He's gone every him. night. Because he was always groggy and had no voice. Never had a health problem, nothing. 
Now he's on three different medications for yeah. headaches. <laughs> and you, you should see, we're sitting by my pool. He's I look at, No, I look at Gary, and I'm watching him, and all of a sudden, there's blood trickling out of his nose. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, really? Gary, let's stop for a second. There's blood trickling out of your nose. He goes, really? He goes, you know, all the medications I'm on, I think they dry me out. And he's blowing his nose, and blood is all over the place. I mean, there's blood on the napkins. You're going to explode. I personally think I have a brain tumor. Yeah. <laughs> he is having the worst this night. This is going to kill you, Gary. I can't wait to get married. What? I can't wait to get married. <laughs> yeah. That sounds great. <laughs> you know, Howard usually Howard usually embellishes. He hasn't said one thing wrong yet. <laughs> yeah. Exactly what happened. I wish I could say he I was watching one that thing. Battle of the Baby Seat, the car seat, and I just said, you know, i got to tell you something. I love the whole thing because I love watching guys who's, who ruin their lives. And, I, and guys, I've warned. <laughs>